What is up everyone, Enzo here, welcome to my retro gaming channel, this is episode number one. I've been having a lot of fun going back and playing the classics lately, so I figured why not post some of these, I've been having so much fun playing it, might as well slap it up on YouTube. So, I used to play Super Mario World all the time when I was a little kid, just like I'm sure a lot of you did as well. I haven't played in maybe 15 years at least, I would say, I haven't played through probably the entire game, like every level, every exit, that sort of thing, since I was like, you know, probably 20 years, since I was like six, seven years old. Maybe, maybe that's an exaggeration, maybe more like eight or nine, but still, haven't played in forever. The specifics don't really matter. I've been having so much fun just getting nostalgic and going back and playing one of the greatest Super Nintendo, if not video games in general of all time. Just so fun. Uh, running through this first little level here. I like going over here and getting the Switch first, just like I'm sure everybody does. Going by these weird little guys. I never knew what these were when I was a kid. What are these? I don't even know what they are. They have some weird, like, square white face, and they're carrying some weird box. I never even knew what that was supposed to be. Anyway, into the secret underground lair we go. Not really, just some coins in here and a Yoshi amulet, I believe. There it is. We're gonna go ahead and snag that real quick. Even today, when you go back and play this game, it's funny because with the, with indies taking off so much these days, and you know, I'm sure the developers of those games draw a lot of their inspiration from the classics like Super Mario World, but even when you go back and play Super Mario World now, just the platforming is just so perfect. Everything just handles so well. Everything's just so smooth. Um, you know, you think of all the new games like Shovel Knight and Celeste and Guacamelee and, you know, just any platformer you could, indie platformer you could think of now. Um, you know, all those types of games, I'm sure they all drew inspiration from Super Mario World, which is part of many reasons why it's such a classic, other than it just being so fun to play in general. We're gonna go ahead and shoot this little guy here with Mario's Fireballs of Doom. Not really, they're pretty small in general, but anyway, we're gonna cross the finish line right here of 24 points. I haven't played that bonus game that pops up at the end in forever. It used to be so fun to try to get all nine the same. Hopefully we'll, that'll pop up soon. I'm gonna jump up here and go to the Yellow Switch Palace. I haven't been to the Yellow Switch Palace in years. Make sure we fill in all the yellow blocks in the game. Don't wanna be falling into any holes of doom. Go ahead. I used to like to run and go. I think I'm gonna jump up top here and go place it on here. Try to get as many coins as we can. Let's get, get our live count up pretty quick here so we have them for later in the game. I mean, Super Mario World, I don't I don't know what you guys think. I never thought it was, you know, I don't think it's regarded as, you know, for its difficulty, really. It's never the hardest game in the world. There's a couple levels later in the game that are a little challenging, but the first few worlds, I don't think were ever regarded as being difficult or anything like that. Switch Palace, the power of the Switch you have pushed will turn into blanks into exclamation point. Your progress will also be saved. That is excellent news. Our progress will also be saved. We're going to spit these out to the universe. And the S Yellow Switch Palace is conquered. Okay, I'm going to stop talking like this now. We are going to go down to... Go past Yoshi's Island 1. Uh, whoever goes in Yoshi's house just so we can eat the berries. Skip right by that. Yoshi, you can go home later, buddy. But we're going to go on to Yoshi number 2. Get that one up there. Blast all those little sad Koopas off the ledge. Actually, they weren't minding their own business, but we we're just trying to beat the game here. We're trying to win and dominate the universe of Mario. We're gonna help. I'm trapped in my shell. Don't worry, Yoshi. I'll free you, boy or girl. I think you're a boy. Not too sure. I'm pretty sure you're a boy. You see, you seem boyish. I'm gonna go ahead and spit that shell out. Oh no, the rebound. Going back the other way. He's running up the court. Here comes the charging shock. Oh, epic fail. Right into the mushroom save. Get off here. Get off my little ledge. Gonna get the checkpoint. Doubt that we're gonna need the checkpoint anyway. That'd be sad if I couldn't even beat the first level. Or technically the second level. Go ahead and smash those little guys. Sorry, little Mr. Moles. Climbing up the vine. Gonna get the Yoshi coin up here. I think. Did we end up getting all five? There's the fifth one. Watch out, little mini mole guy. Yoshi's hungry. Daddy needs some food. Gonna go ahead and grab the mushroom. Grab these. This is so weird. I'm used to, I'm used to, uh, uh, I also do have a FIFA channel I post on sometimes. I'm trying to keep up more regularly with that, you know, FIFA the soccer game. And I feel like I'm a lot more silly commentating for Super Mario than 
for for uh, soccer or football, as many call it, as it were. We're gonna go ahead and grab some of these exclamation points. There's the secret mushroom. We're gonna go ahead and grab that extra point. Get out of the pipes. The waters are coming up. I don't know. There is no water in this level, but there are sewage pipes that go to where there's no water. And um, we're gonna take this piece so we can watch out for the charging chuck football chuck. He doesn't have any footballs, but he is dressed like a football player. So we're gonna get a bonus 30. We're already up to 54. We can play the bonus game any day now. Let's go up to the level number two. I think it has the, I, I like the soundtrack in the, uh, of level number two. I don't know if we call it a soundtrack or not, but it's fun anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and swoop around on this little fun giant conveniently placed wooden swing. Jump on these conveniently placed little yellow blocks. Another giant, look, another wooden swing. Bowser put it there so we can make it to his castle. I think there's gonna be a life. I'm gonna go grab this life. Grab this Koopa and spit some fire right in his friend's face. Oh, that is embarrassing. How weird would that be if you could kill an animal, take his fire, and then spit it right in his friend's face. That is quite the insult. Oh, even if, if, especially if you're a dragon and can save it for later. Is Yoshi a dragon? I would think so, right? Yoshi's a dragon. Let me guys, let, let me know what you guys think. Is Yoshi a dragon? I'm pretty sure he's a dragon. He's gotta be, right? What the heck else would he be? I, I've actually never played uh, Super Mario World 2. I, when I was a kid, I only had Super Mario World on Super Nintendo. I never had Super Mario World 2. I actually didn't even know it existed until I was older. So, for, I don't know, I just never came across it. You know, when you're a kid, you just play the games your parents buy you or the ones you see in the store and, uh, beg for them to buy you. So, uh, I think I might actually play that relatively soon and slap it up on the channel after, uh, maybe after this series is done, maybe we'll take a break from Super Mario World and maybe I'll just run through all the classic classics first. I think I might do a Link to the Past next. I, I might, I, I, I haven't played that in forever either. Might do that and then maybe I'll go back to Super Mario World too. Let me know what you guys think I should play next because I'm definitely going to post, each day I'm going to post, uh, an episode of, I think I'll do like a world each day. Each day I'll post an episode of uh, do World 1 to tomorrow or today. I guess I'm recording this, but tomorrow would be Tuesday. So I'll post this Tuesday and then Wednesday will be World 2 and so on. And then maybe after that I'll do Legend of Zelda. We'll see. But anyway, Yoshi's going to continue on his eating spree and eat this cat that has no arms and legs and waddles through the desert and thinks it's a cactus. I don't think anyone would have this in their home. And its face with the eyeballs and everything. That is very disturbing, Yoshi. I would probably not keep you as a pet, although you are a dragon and that would be an awesome pet to have. Gonna go ahead, get the pea. The pea seem to always be good, so let's keep stepping on that. Keep blowing fire right in these guys' faces. You could actually step on that. Jump on those. Jump on those. We could definitely jump on those. Yoshi can step on pretty m Holy shit, Yoshi, you sick freak! You just ate one of those? Freaking weirdo. Let's go ahead and get the gate. Watch out for the randomly placed item information box that Bowser's conveniently left throughout his kingdom. He's left us information for his own demise. How nice of him. Gonna go ahead and blast through this level, though. Go right up to the castle already. We are on warp speed right here. Not really. I'm not I'm not trying to beat the level. I mean, I want to actually enjoy the game, too. Yoshi is like, I am not going in that weird, creepy castle with you. Already a fail. What a noob fail right off the bat. Gonna go ahead and bop you off there. These castles are so fun, though. Even to this day, these castles are just so well designed. I mean, again... They're not the most difficult thing ever, but when you go back and think of the time, this game came out in 1990, I believe. Like, for a game that came out in 1990, this game is just so much fun and so good to this day. I had such a good time going through it. Go ahead and get those extra coins. Let's go ahead and punch you off the fence. Pop you right into lava. Right into lava for you too, buddy. I think Bowser should have probably gotten some comrades that were fire resistant if he was going to put lava in his castle. Not very smart. Or, I guess this is technically Iggy Koopa's castle. Maybe he should have gotten some flame retardant friends. Punch you off the fence. Pop you off the fence. Ooh! Terrible way to go. Right in the bum. 
Gonna go through the halfway point. Skip the information box, because we don't need that. Ooh! Watch out for the giant wooden beams that fall out of the ceiling that look slightly made of old brown cheese. Gonna hide in this conveniently placed little man cover. Shoot some fireballs for no apparent reason, just because it's fun. Go ahead and grab these coins that Iggy has also left conveniently for us throughout his castle. Oh, we're already there! The red door marked as the boss! Fire one! Fire two! Fire three! Oh, that was, uh, that was easy, wasn't it? Oh, right in the lava! Wow, we didn't put much of a fight on that one. Blew right through level one! Man, guys, I know I keep saying it, but I have so much fun playing Super Mario World. If any of you, for some reason, have never played or are just younger, I very highly recommend that you do. Go ahead and blow up the first castle. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's friend who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. Can't wait to go to Donut Land and maybe have a delicious little breakfast. Anyway, guys, uh, had fun being a little silly in this video. Um, can't wait to see you guys tomorrow when we take on episode two. Subscribe to my channel if you want to, or if not, that's cool too. Have a great day either way. Later.